Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mario and in this video we're going to talk about the importance of edge flow. So edge flow can be an extremely complicated topic. Uh, here we will not go so much into a uh, deep uh, explanation of what it does, what it is. It's just going to talk about why is it so important to understand it well. But again, to kind of like explain it at least in its sort of like bare bones, uh, simplistic way, I have a couple of examples here. So important thing to understand is that we're going to have only two types of flow available to us at all times that we're just constantly going to switch between and switching between the two is going to always give us different results. So when we talk about the flow of the edges, so just for the purpose of the presentation, I'm going to add here a couple of edges. You're going to see that if I decide, let's say to use multi-cut, you're going to see that this multi-cut is going to follow a straight line from this edge right here to this edge right here. So straight line from one to another, and they have the connection in a single point. Here on the other hand, this edge is looking a little bit different. So instead of a single line or instead of the square, we have a single 45 degree cut connecting these two points. So instead of this, we have 45 degree cut. So what this 45 degree cut allows us to do is sort of like a redirect that straight line uh, into a different direction. And this is basically it. We're going to have either this or we're going to have this. There's not going to be anything else in between. So knowing that, let's take this cube and let's discuss what we can get here. So on all corners, we're going to have this straight sort of like um, edge loop right here. So whatever we do, we're going to have always this straight edge loop. However, what if I would like to turn the straight loop into that 45 degree cut. I can do that. And I just need to be sure that not only I delete these parts, but I only also delete everything connected to that loop. So once I delete that and select my multi cut, you're going to see that now instead of this straight line, I am getting this 45 degree cut. So why does it matter is once we subdivide this and you're going to see if I start to remove all of these edges here, that actually this corner changes while more or less this corner stays in place. So this means that by manipulating the density of the mesh itself, this 45 degree corner is going to give us either super, super soft or let's say more of a smoother corner, while this one is going to give us that sharper corner. So it depends on the density itself, we're going to be manipulating that corner on the side, but not only its smoothness or its sharpness, it's also going to be manipulating the direction in which this flow is headed. Same thing is going to, let me just undo this real quick. Same thing is going to apply if we do the same type of redirection anywhere on the surface. If I select this right here, you're gonna see that this cut is exactly the same as this one. And if I would be removing these edges, again, remember we need to remove all of the edges, not just these right here, every single edge that it's connected to it. So we, this needs to go. The same rule applies here. We do not delete only these two, but we delete every single edge connecting to it. And then what happens is that we have now a brand new redirection, not no longer this straight cut. Now we have this redirection. This will work also with the faces, same thing as with the edges. All right, I'm gonna keep this for now here and let's see what actually benefits that brings or why is it so important to us in our day-to-day -day workflow let's say here from the last video what we had is we had we talked about uh, structural edges and we talked about the importance of the support loops so now we have support loops on all of these structural edges all right so what if let's say we now change the same corner that we changed here into 45 degree what happens if we do it here as well? So now we have one design and let me just push to the side and change the area from uh, this to 45 degree. And also remember, we don't delete only these edges, but we delete everything that it's connected to that. And this is the result. 
we're going to see that now the highlights are slightly changing. Instead of this, let's say, clean highlight cut, clean highlight cut, now the highlight is changing a little bit differently. So we can now push this even further where this support loop, we can again pretend and create it into a new structural edge. So we push it, let's say, here to the side. We push it here down. And then to this structure, we add support loops. And now what it happens is that now we have a brand new, let's say, uh, form from the edge flow that we just manipulated. Now we can continue moving forward. So remember, the more topology we have, if we add more, this becomes sharper and sharper. Also, what we can do is we can fully tighten it. But say if we now pretend, okay, so this is now structure, we now add support loops here, support loops here. Now you're gonna see that again from there, we are progressing even further. So now this is already a third variation based only on that uh, support loops or edge flow. And even we can do this and even from here, we can now continue and change this part into this one, making this even more interesting. So let's say pushing it even more on the inside and again, creating brand new forms. So it's basically just that playing with this basic kind of like uh, basic idea, turning this 45 degree angle into a square or turning a square into 45 degree angle flow. Now the same thing we can do here, let's say on top, let me just undo this a little bit. So what happens if we change this here on the top? And again, we don't delete only these edges. We delete every connecting edge to that. Now let's say push this on the inside. Add a support loop here. So here, really, we cannot add a support loop like this. We can only add it, let's say, manually like so. And then maybe later we can come in and just delete the, the extra. Or simply what we could have done is just select this and bevel. But the same principle applies that now again we have a brand new form instead of redirecting it down we are redirecting it up so again just to summarize it all support loops are going to be the establishing uh, the establishing factor for our structural edges while using the edge flow is going to be sort of like directing the support loops or directing the highlights in any direction or kind of creating any highlight that we want to create uh, so yeah, more or less, this covers the topic of the importance of the edge flow. And like I mentioned, this is extremely extensive topic. Uh, I do have a complete workshop dedicated to topology only. If you wish, you can check it out. I will leave the link in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to see you next time.